Hi, my name is Caitlin Kayat. I am the executive producer of Ramshead Theatrical Society. Um, I'm going to be a senior this next year and I am studying theater performance studies and American studies. In my job as executive producer, I do my best to support our individual show producers as well as our board of directors. The more recent of its 108 year past um, has been a scripted show with a script and score written in spring quarter um, and finished up over summer by students. So it's all student written and student composed. But before that, Gaieties actually has a history of being devised um, and coming with devised skits. And you know, that's something that we're revisiting this year. What was I gonna, what was I even gonna try to say? Gaieties was Ramshead's first show and it was originally known as the Football Follies back in 1911 um, and that was kind of how our organization started and then from there it blossomed into the organization we have today. I think the team has done a really great job so far of adjusting to you know the various constraints put on us by this crazy COVID. Um, I I'm really pleased with the direction that this Gaieties is headed. I think that we have had a number of iterations um, and a number of steps that we've taken to try to readjust and anticipate what this year is going to be in, you know, a really unpre unprecedented time. And I'm really excited with the direction in which this is headed. I think there is great opportunity to return to our roots, but in a much better way and a way that really addresses some of the previous wrongs and injustices that Gaieties has perpetuated in its past. I am really excited about the focus on telling marginalized stories this year and I think that the ability to shape those stories on an individual level is something that we've never really experienced um, since we shifted towards a uh, written script, meaning that basically the cast involved in this year's Gaieties is going to be creating and telling their own stories, which is just something that you can't do when you have a script handed to you. I think my favorite Gaieties memory is a tangentially related Gaieties memory, and that is when freshman year at my dorm awards banquet end of the year ceremony, um, they gave out superlatives. And the superlative I got was most likely to see her RAs naked. And that was because my freshman year gaieties, I was an assistant stage manager and I was the naked person wrangler. Um, you know, anyone who's seen gaieties on stage in the last several years knows there is a naked run of, you know, 50 or so people trampling across stage. And it was my job to direct them and control them. So that was, that was fun. And my RAs were amongst the crowd. Um, so that was a very interesting experience to have freshman fall. Um, I was like, whoa, this is Stanford Theater. It's really easy, I think, for us to fall and continue, fall into and continue um, the cycle of like what Gaieties has looked like and what Gaieties has meant to certain populations at Stanford. But I think the opportunity that has been presented to us by COVID has really allowed us to disrupt everything about Gaieties and really, really address these issues head on. And I think something that's really special about Gaieties this year is that it's going to look so different from previous Gaieties. And our cast is usually a mix of a lot of freshmen and a lot of upperclassmen. But you know, our upperclassmen returner numbers have been dwindling in previous years. And I think a lot of that is due to people feeling like they've done Gaieties, right? Once you've done one, you've done them all. Uh, because the structure is so similar year to year and I think this year there is a really exciting opportunity for upperclassmen to return to Gaieties and not have it feel like they're participating in the same show year after year. So I'm really hoping that we get a lot of upperclassmen to return um, and bring their voices back into the Gaieties room. Awesome!